YouTube, what's good, man? Jay Reed back at y'all with another video. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me for a quick tutorial on how to use MetaTrader 4. So today I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial. I know you got a 10 spin of a net, so I'm gonna try to make this quick, all right? Five minutes, I'm gonna make this quick. So, MetaTrader 4, all right? I'm gonna show you guys a quick tutorial how to use it. I mean, here's the app. You got all your settings right here. First thing you need to know is how to download MetaTrader 4, all right? So you need to go all the way back, go to your app store right here, and click your search tab. So once you go to your search tab, they finally added MetaTrader 4 to Apple Store, to the App Store. So, I mean, it's the same for Google Store, it's the same for every other place. If not, you can go on to any kind of broker and they have the link at the top, all right? So first thing, you're gonna type MetaTrader 4 and it's gonna top, type up right here at the top. So, and you also got MetaTrader 5. I mean, it's pretty much the same interface. I use 4 because, I mean, I don't know. Everybody always told me to use 4. All right, so, MetaTrader 4 right here, all you got to do is click download or you can do 5, either one. It's the same thing for the most part. So once you download it, it's going to open up and it's going to come to the screen just like this. All right. And once you get on this screen right here, you can add more uh, currencies. You can add more Bitcoins. This is just your total screen of where the market is right here. This is the home screen. This is where it's always going to bring you to every day. Now the market is closed, so you're not going to see any movement here. But... Here's the advance, and if you ever wanted to add more currencies to this, all you gotta do is hit this plus sign right here, click Forex, and literally it scrolls down to add more currencies there. So if you ever wanna add uh, like cryptos and gold and other kind of uh, currencies on here, you just gotta be on a real account. You can't pull it up on a uh, demo account. So if you wanna do that, you know, you pull up, you've got all kind of indices, you got energy, you got oil, you got gold, you got silver, all kind of other uh, metals and, and currencies that you can use on here. You got all your cryptos right here from Bitcoin, Dogecoin. It's got a long list of cryptos. So, I mean, really, you can really dig into a lot of things. You got stocks as well, like so many different currencies that you can use. So if you want to do that, you must be on a real account. If you ever wanted to edit it and kind of delete, you just click it, boom, hit delete. Or if you want to bring one of them to the, to the bottom in case like you don't really care for it as much, you click that. Hit the three lines and then boom this one got moved all the way back to the bottom right here so pretty simple pretty straightforward there um so that's all we got to get out of that screen you hit that pencil and it's back simple screen literally just shows you the uh price action where it is at the moment where it is on the market so not too much to see there pretty straightforward uh process there so next next tab right here at the bottom right here you guys see we got the chart Let me make a camera focus right here if you click chart right here literally this shows you a deeper view of the chart you can see all the candles everything you need to see from from where the market is at the moment you can do market analysis from this you can do anything you need to do from this screen guys i don't personally use it because it's not like too informative i don't really i really use my my markups on uh, trading view but i mean you can use this as a guideline i mean it's kind of a quick and it's most and it's the most responsive one that you can use trading view has just slight bit of lag so i mean it's just all personal preference for everyone um so first thing at the top right here you got the m1 if you want to change it from one minute graph to uh let's just say uh daily graph you click m1 and click daily right it slides back now you're looking at daily every single day it's a wider range of of uh you know candles so you got that, you can click this to kind of look at where each individual point is. You can calculate all your pips. So say you say you hopped in the trade right here and you want to see, hey, if I hopped out right here and you can do just a little bit of market analysis, guys. Not too much. I mean, just slight bit of it. Um, if you hit the F, you can add an indicators on here, guys. You can literally dig in and click. I didn't even know you can do this, to be honest, on the phone. But guys, you got indicators on here. Literally indicators. You got the average directional indicator right here like a lot of people use this one i mean i'm not a big fan of it but if you like it you can add it to your trading call account um you got even more indicators guys let's let's look at it even more all right hit the f right here like guys you can really dig in and do a lot of market analysis from this make the camera focus all right so many indicators so many on here um i'm not sure if you can add more indicators but i mean this is what the app has all right so that's indicators right there. You can delete it also, guys. I don't use any indicators, so I'm just going to delete it. So, like, I don't use those, so I'm just going to get it off my screen. But anyways, that's indicators. If you want to do that, hit the F up there. 
here's objects right here, guys. You can draw trend lines. You can draw um, like. Uh, supply and demand zone. So say I want to add an object right here. But guys, that's how you draw trend lines. You got that. You've got just horizontal lines. If you ever want to do that, if I can figure out how to do it. Oh, there it is right there. All right. So horizontal lines, you can add that. You can draw it moving up and down if you ever need to. I mean, pretty straightforward, guys. Nothing, not too much analysis that you can do from there. I don't use it. Like I said, I mainly use trading view for it. So if you ever want to use that, this, that right there. All right. So you click trade, boom, here is your, if you ever want to hop into a trade, here is the screen that you need to use right here, all right? It literally, you can either start off with instant execution, you can do a, a buy limit, you can do a buy stop, a sell limit, or a sell stop, guys. I always use market instant uh, execution because, I mean, it, it, it's more action, guys. You can literally look at it right as you hop into the trade. Like, you don't have to wait till it hit a certain point to hop into the trade. You can do it right there, guys. Basically, when you do that, it instantly hops you in a trade. If you ever do a buy limit, it waits till it gets to a certain point to, to uh, hop into the trade. If you ever do a, a sell limit, it waits till it gets to a certain point to hop into the trade. So, so I always use instant execution, guys. If you do any kind of trading course, it tells you to use instant execution, guys. It's, I mean, it's just easier. All right, you can do your stop loss, and then you can do your take profit, guys. Two different points, guys, and like literally that basically your stop loss is, hey, once it gets to this point, I want to stop losing money, right? Versus your take profit is, hey, once I get to this point, I want to take all the money that I can get out of my account, out of that trade right there. So that's that's literally all it is. And if you ever want to hop into a trade, just click sell uh, or click buy right there, right? Now, these have to align. It has to be like right on point for it to hop on to a trade. If not, you're not gonna be able to hop into a trade. So so that's all we got for the chart uh, portion of this. Now you can zoom in, zoom out, like it's pretty straightforward. Like you can literally do anything you want from there. All right, next screen, all right, trade. Literally this screen right here, guys, and I am on the demo account, that's why it literally says 5,000. I know, don't hate me in the conversation. But anyways, on this, literally you can create trades. It literally is an overview of all the trades that you're in at that moment, all right? If you ever wanna hop into a trade, click plus, instant execution same literally same screen as the other one guys um and this is just i mean pretty straightforward it's nothing really to see here um if you're in a, if you're ever in a trade guys you have to long click and then close out to get out of the trade or if you ever want to create a uh, another a stop loss or a take profit literally long click that trade and then add your stop loss or your take profit guys so that's it right here it's your history guys you can literally see every every single trade you made from that whole duration of that account, guys. You can click week, you can click month, or you can create a custom range for however long you want it to be. Guys, pretty straightforward there. And last but not least, guys, you wanna to go to settings. You can look at news, you can look at trades, you can look at any kind of, you can add new account, do anything, guys. Like, you got news right here. I mean, it literally brings up any kind of information that you need to know for a trade that you're in. Or you got your mailbox, if you ever made any kind of changes to your account, it shows that. Or if you even want to create a new account right here, guys, you can create a new, you can log into an existing one or you can do a demo, guys. It's, I mean, pretty straightforward, simple stuff. Um, I've always done my demo accounts through the MetaTrader 4 app. If you ever want to create a demo, like literally it's MetaQuotes demo and then hit this. It's going to bring up my email, so I'm going to block that out. But here's the email and I always do one to 100 leverage, guys. Um, you always want to have the most leverage. So, and you can literally click deposit and it put how much you want in your account. It goes all the way up to $5 million, guys. So like, who's gonna trade with $5 million? I don't know, but you can do that, all right? And literally all you do is click register, click done, and now you got a $5 million trading account. Straightforward, simple, right? All right, and also if you got a real account, you go here, you go back to new account, you click log into an existing account and search up that broker that you have. So in my case, I always use Hugo's way. I use Hugo's way and then click real and then it literally takes you to your login. That way you can start trading right on that moment that day. All right, straightforward, simple process. So lastly, trade days, I mean, economic calendar, straightforward. Um, everything else on here is more settings for the app. You can dig into that. I mean, I don't really get over into that. That's not really my realm. I don't need any of that information. It's pretty relevant for me. All right, straightforward. So really all you need is the chart and the trades and you'll be successful with your trading all right 
Let me know what, cut, what question you have in the comment section below, guys. I know you're ready to get to watching those cat videos. So, hey, man, go have fun. All right. Make sure if you want to in increase your knowledge on trading, man, just go click more videos. Click more links in the description. All right. I'll see you guys next video. Let me know what other questions you guys have for me. We out.